Right, here's my game as it currently stands. Uh, I've got my big guy and he can shoot. Uh, you might notice I've made the bullet slightly smaller, but that's pretty much the only change I've made, I think. Um, however, he still can't shoot left and we haven't shot anything yet. So I have actually given him something to shoot. If we go down here, you can see a whale to shoot. Uh, oh look, there was that power up that I made as well. That's cool. So um, let's fix that. Let's make him able to shoot to the right first and then we'll make him able to shoot the whale. Um, so space key is pressed, fires a bomb from big guy. Uh, you see this is the change, the scale. Every time I shoot a bomb, I set it to be half the size. It, it just seemed better to me to do that. So what I'm going to add in here is a condition. You'll remember uh, up here we've got when a key is pressed, we flip the big guy horizontally. That's how we make him face the, the way that the key has just been pressed. So we're going to use that. So we're going to say big guy and we can check is he horizontally flipped. If he is horizontally flipped, so uh, where were we? Did I put this in the wrong place? I think I did, yes. There, it should be there, shouldn't it? There you go. Space guy is pressed. If the big guy is horizontally flipped, we're going to set it with angle opposite direction to be 180 degrees. All right. Um, but of course, I need it to shoot both ways. Uh, and this is not maybe the most efficient way to do this, but it'll do for now. Control C, Control V. I've copied the entire event. So if big guy is horizontally flipped, he's going to fire 180 degrees. And this event here I'm going to invert that condition so if space key is pressed and big guy is not horizontally flipped we'll set it to be angle zero let's just check that works before we go on and shoot the whale so we're facing to the right we shoot shoots to the right facing to the left shoot shoots to the left <laughs> it is upside down um, across that bridge another time. Might be easier if we just have something completely round and we shoot that so that it can't be upside down anyway. Um, now the next thing was we wanted to be able to shoot the whale and you may have guessed already that we are just going to do this as a collision event. So we say basically if the bomb is in collision with the whale then we're going to do two things. Firstly we're going to delete the bomb. So bomb delete Okay, and then we're going to delete the whale as well. So whale delete done. Let's check it works, shall we? We've only got one whale to delete at the moment. We could add more whales in later. So I shoot. It's not shooting anything at this moment. Go down here. Oh, I picked up the power up. Anyway, still, still killed the whale. Nice. There we go. Uh, so we have the beginnings of the game. The whale is not a very interesting enemy just yet. It just sits there and looks whaley. Um, we're going to have to find ways to make it more interesting, and that's in upcoming videos.